I've come up here and uh, speak. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to say. Well, now after being docked. Uh, I just want to say I'm so thankful and so humbled for all of you guys here today. I mean, my goodness, all we hear in the media, all we see on TV, all we see from our Republican representatives is either a lack of leadership or hate. The elites, they hate you. They want to push you down. They think you're evil. They want nothing to do with you. And when people say we are the majority, we are the majority. We are the people. We are the people that are representing and fighting for this republic. So when you, and what is the answer? This, the guy in the red hat was saying, what is the answer? Let's flip the state. Let's flip the tables. Let's fight for what we believe in. Yeah. Let's go to the doors and push them aside. Because we know in our hearts what's right and true. I look down the street, you see the abortion clinic, right? Killing our children. You see the schools where they're indoctrinating our children. What's next? What is next? I ask you, what do we do, my fellow Americans? What do we do? How do we fight? And now they're stealing the election. And as Republicans, do we just sit here like we do, and especially Wisconsin Republicans, the salt of the earth, we're humble, we're good people. Do we just let this happen? No. I don't think so either. Because I'm not just fighting for myself, I'm fighting for my children and their children. And can you imagine the horror of a Biden-Kamala administration? Can you imagine what that would do to our freedoms in the country and the things that Trump did for us for the last four years? Can you imagine? So I think it's important to ask yourself that question. Where is the line? Where is the line? Where do I draw the line? Because the Overton window is continually shifting and it's a shifting away from God, conservatism, the Constitution. If we don't do anything, if we don't fight, we will have nothing left. And we'll get trickles of it in our lifetime but our children and our grandchildren will have nothing, no, none of these freedoms that we also enjoy and are also dear to our hearts. So I, I ask yourselves, ask yourself that question. What is the line in the sand? Where do you draw the line? And then what do you do next? What do you do next? And thank you all and God bless you. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Thank you, Zeb.